Hello and welcome back to year nine. Okay, so we're looking now today at the third and final of the triangles that you need to learn for maths. There are a lot more for science, so you have to speak to your science teacher about that. But for maths, the only three you have to learn, these sort of triangles to help you remember all these formulas, are about to be right in front of you. Okay, I know we touched on them last time, but let's just have to see what we can remember. All right, in fact, I'll tell you what, pause it now, see if you can remember any of them. That'd be a great idea, and it will give you a good idea of where you're already at and what you need to still keep going at. Right, okay, so hopefully you're unpaused, and I'm going to write straight away M, D, F, because that's how I remember, okay? Or mums don't fart, all right? Whatever you prefer, but M, D, F at the top there. Right, now, I remember that when mass is involved, density and volume come into play. So I'm going to put D and V at the bottom. I remember the D on the top stands for distance, so that's with speed and time. And I remember that the force is always with area and pressure. So there are my three triangles. It doesn't matter whether you had this one on the left, or on the right or in the middle, or you know, as, as long as that's one, that's one, and that's one, you're fine. But actually, even if you've got these two muddled up, or these two, or these two between them, that would be absolutely fine. The key bit is, is the M for mass, D for distance, and F for force are on the top. And of course, I'm saying that because the D for density is not on the top, it's over here on one of the bottoms. Okay? Right. So let's do some examples now then. So you have got force, area, and missing pressure in this question. So straight away, I know it's a force, area, pressure question, of course. So I'm going to draw my little triangle, and I'm going to fill in my force, my area, my pressure. Okay. Then I'm going to start filling that in with what I know. The force, I know, is 20. So I'm going to put that in there. The area, I know, is 10. So that goes in there. And I now know that I need to do that divided by that to get this one here. Okay. Then um, that tells me that my answer is 2. But I can also work out the units by thinking, well, I've got newtons on the top there and centimetres squared there. So I do newtons divided by centimetres squared, newtons over centimetres squared, just like that. Okay. Next one. Force, area, pressure, but this time area is missing. I'm going to draw this. Force, um, area, and pressure. And what does that turn into? Well, my force is 4. My area I don't know, so I'm going to leave it blank for now. And my pressure is 10. I've got here this at the top, this at the bottom. So I'm going to do divide. 4 divided by 10 is 0 0.4. So that's my answer. And I write that in there. And... If I've got newtons um, here and newtons per centimetre squared, the missing one is just centimetre squared on its own. Right, and last the examples I'm going to give you. It's quite a quick one, this one. I know lots of people have been struggling on the length of time of the speed distance time. There's a lot on the video, but there's also a lot to get through on the practice sheet. If you spend a lot longer on that, then do a bit of this, get, you know, get it done and then go back to it. You know, then you obviously, well, you don't need to go back because you've spent all that extra time on it. But if you had to skip through a bit and you're still not sure, you can now go back if you need to when you do half an hour on this and then go back and have a little go at the speed distance time. That's the stuff that comes up the most. All of the triangles could come up, but that one does come up the most, speed distance time. Right, so this time, um, we know it's to do with force area pressure, so we're chucking this in to remind us. We're going to turn that into this. Um, and... I know the area, well I need to work out the area, which is 3 by 8, so I know that's 24. So there we go, 24. I've got the pressure, which is 2, and I don't have the top one, which means I'm going to times these two together. And of course that gives me 24 times 2 is 48. So my answer is 48. I've got centimetres squared. I've got newtons per centimetre squared, but I don't have newtons on its own. So there it is. Okay. Right, here's some practice for you guys. Um, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to give you a choice. You can try and do it 
by remembering the triangle and just write it down each time if that's what you want to do. Pause it now. Or you can have that there to help you just while you get used to it. If that's the case, pause it now. Okay. Either way, hopefully you've paused it now, unpaused, and you're ready to go through the answers. So let's remember force would be 40 on the top there. Area would be 8. So I'm going to just do a little triangle here to remind me. Um, 40 and 8, which means I'm going to divide. 40 divided by 8 is, of course, 5. And the one we're missing is newtons per centimetre squared. Next one. I'm going to draw another triangle. This time I don't know what the area is. So I'm going to put 60 there and 10 there. And I'm going to do 60 divided by 10, which of course 6. And it's centimetres squared that I'm missing. The next one. I've got no force, but I can put my area and my pressure in. 4 and 8, which means I times them, which means I'm left with 32. And it's newtons that I'm missing. Next one. I've got a force of 12. Now, I've deliberately gone with 12 and 24, and they will do that in the exam too. I've got 12 and I've got 24, and actually 12's on the top. Lots of people might go, oh, that's 2, because I know that 24, 12 goes into 24, bam. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. 12's actually on the top, because it is force on the top. Pressure's on the bottom, so I do 12 divided by 24, which is, of course, 0.5 or half a centimetre squared. I'll take both. Either, I should say. Right, next one. Another triangle. Force on the top. Area on the bottom. 20 divided by 2.5 is... Um, well, there are two of them in five. Four fives in 20, so eight in total. And fill in the um, units as well. And the very last one, I've been a bit nastier because I've actually made you work out the area and I've got a bit of a decimal thing going on as well, just to make it doubly tricky. But the area of this, I bet there's lots of people that wrote 36. Okay, don't forget with a triangle, you times them together, base times height, but then half it. Okay, a couple of people are kicking themselves now, I bet. 36 divided by 2 is 18 centimetres squared. So my missing one here. Well, if I draw the triangle, it's force that's missing. So I've got my 18 and I've got my 0 0.1 and I times them together to get me 1.8. And of course, it's newtons. So there you have it. And there are all the answers. So you can quickly just double check through. All right. Brilliant. Like I promised, a bit of a shorter one, this one. Uh, feel free to go back over to the speed distance time. Make sure you're confident with that time unit changes because that's where it gets a bit different to everything else with time. Because you've got 60 minutes, not 100, it just makes it a little bit more complicated. Do you know how what, what decimal of an hour 15 minutes is? If not, go back and have a look at that. Do you know um, what 10 metres per second is when you convert it into kilometres per hour? If not go back and have a look at that video and those practice questions. Any questions, as always, comment on the Show My Homework and I'll get back to you and hopefully fix the problem. All right? Right. Have a good night, um, day, whatever time it is for you. See you later. Bye.